So with Halloween coming up, you may have purchased a pumpkin, and you may have even carved a face or design into your pumpkin. Now, you can use the traditional tea candle to illuminate the pumpkin's face or pattern in the dark, or you could build your own circuit, such as the one I have behind me. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can build your own circuit, which will last quite a bit longer than a tea candle. A tea candle lasts approximately four hours. And depending on the batteries you use, you can have a light source that will last up to a month. So the difference is quite noticeable. So here's the circuit. It's extremely simple. You just have a 3-volt battery here. So two AA cells or two C cells will do the trick. A 100 ohm resistor and an LED. So it could be a red LED, a green LED, a yellow LED, a blue LED. With this resistor, any of those will be fine. So let's build it. So here are the three things you're going to need. A battery holder, with batteries of course, an LED, and a 100 ohm resistor. Now, you could use multiple LEDs, and if you wanted to do that, you would need multiple resistors for each LED. I'll include some links at the bottom of this, so you could go and purchase these at Radio Shack. All right, so I'm going to build a simple circuit first. I'm just going to have one LED and one resistor. And when it comes to LEDs, it is important to know which is the negative and which is the positive side of an LED. So the side with the notch on it is the negative, and the side that is round is the positive. And another easy way to tell which is positive and which is negative is the longer lead is positive and the shorter lead is negative. So you'd want to attach the red wire of your battery pack to the longer lead. And your resistor would be attached to the shorter lead. So what I'm going to do now is just solder the resistor right in place of that lead. And I also recommend purchasing some heat shrink tubing from Radio Shack. I'll put the part number and link in for you at the bottom. And you want to cut this so that there will be some lead exposure at the bottom of the resistor. And then just come in with your soldering iron and place it close, but do not touch the heat shrink. And gradually it will shrink down to a snug fit over the lead and resistor. So now your negative is the insulated side. And now the final step is soldering your LED to your battery pack. I would recommend removing your batteries for this stage. And prior to soldering the leads onto the LED, I'd recommend putting heat shrink tubing on your wires so that you can insulate the exposed wires. And now you just slide your heat shrink tubing over the leads and the wire, and it's nicely insulated. And of course you would shrink this down. So let's test it out. So there you go. You have your LED light. So let's put it in the pumpkin and see how it looks. And prior to putting the light into the pumpkin, you want to make sure that it's sealed, somewhat water resistant, because it is going to be outdoors and inside the pumpkin, so you don't want water to short out anything. And I'd also recommend mounting the LED onto the battery enclosure, so it can be adjusted to a nice angle to illuminate the face or pattern. So here we go.
So there you go. A very simple way to illuminate your pumpkin for quite some time. And I'll follow this up with some other videos showing you how you can use multiple LEDs to get even more illumination from your pumpkin. Alright, stay tuned.